Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zank here, and I finally have another video for you guys. So this video is going to be more of an update video than anything, but since I haven't posted any really content in a while because of my trip to China, which I'll talk about in a sec, uh, I have I wanted to just make a quick video for you guys to talk about a bunch of things, including plans for the channel and things in the VGC world. Uh, so first of all, as you guys probably know, I've been in China for the past two weeks with 13 other kids from my school. Uh, we visited five cities in total, Hangzhou, Suzhou, Xi'an, Shanghai, and Beijing, and that was a really awesome experience. I got to visit many of the big, you know, touristy and famous areas. Uh, that China is known for, including the Great Wall, um, Tiananmen Square, and the Terracotta Wire. So that was really cool. Uh, my friends and I also got to meet Samuel L. Jackson while we were there in a store in Beijing. So that was really, really fun. Um, but like I said, because I've been in China, I haven't been able to produce much content for you guys. But now that I'm finally back, you can definitely expect more content, at least, you know, four to five videos a week, probably daily content. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, as for, you know, where my channel is right now and my plans for the future, I'm at around 60, uh, 6,500 subscribers right now, which is really, really awesome. I know it's still not a lot compared to many of the big YouTubers out there, but for me, uh, the point of m making this channel, making my videos is to help VGC grow, uh, and seeing that many people really get into VGC and getting messages saying that people are, you know, starting to enjoy VGC more because of, uh, content I produce is really heartwarming and I'm glad to see that there are that many people that are slowly getting interested, uh, the day I hit 10,000 will really mean a lot to me, but, you know, subscribers are just a number, and, um, you know, this is just a personal thank you to everyone that has subscribed, it really does mean a lot, uh, and I appreciate all your support. Um, as for plans for the future, I do plan on making just more content as in terms of regular stuff like battle videos, analyses, um, but I do plan on doing more, like, gears towards, you know, a specific VGC prep. Uh, I'm actually going to be posting a VGC regionals preparation video right after that, because as you may know, Pokemon VGC regionals uh, is back again. And next month, Spring Regionals is taking place in around five, I, diff I believe five, or maybe six different locations across America. Um, one on April 6th, I mean, a couple on April 6th, and the next of remaining ones on the weekend after. I'll actually be defending my Massachusetts title in Massachusetts once again, so if you're there, definitely say hello to me because I'm really excited to be there. I uh, haven't prepared nearly as much this season as I have last season because obviously I already have my invitation to the World Championships this summer, but I'll definitely be still there competing and trying to win and doing my best. So if you're there, say hello to me. Um, uh, I guess the final two things I want to talk about, uh, first one is just kind of personal life. Uh, I guess the biggest thing that I want to mention is I recently got an internship with JP Morgan, which is a pretty big company in really the world. Um, so I'll be spending my entire summer working for them as an intern, and that should be really exciting, uh, especially because it's a paid internship. So I'll be making some money along the way. But the real, real reason why I'm so uh, excited for that is because I get to venture into the whole business area, and uh, especially with such a respectable company, I'm really excited for that. Is alongside Nationals and Worlds, this is going to be a really busy but exciting summer. Um, and I'm really just looking forward to kind of working for such a reputable company. Uh, the final thing I wanted to mention, uh, touch base on, is the whole Verlicify video. Uh, as you may know, I recently made my Verlicify video private, uh, and there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, I guess the general gist of the re um, taking the video down is I just don't really want to deal with any of this drama anymore. Um, and... I just read so many ignorant comments, uh, really, every day on both sides, uh, and I'm really, you know, at where I'm at the point where I don't feel like it's necessary anymore, and people who've watched it have gotten the message. I sent Verlissify an apology message on Skype, actually, because, you know, he felt like my uh, video was ruining his reputation, um, and that wasn't really the goal of the video. The goal of the video was to kind of clarify some misconceptions, but it he was clearly not very happy about it, um, and... I know people won't really, people have told me to keep the video up, but I'm at the point really where I just don't have the time or the patience to read ignorant comments and kind of troll hate posts. And I know that this is the internet and you kind of have to deal with that, but at the same time, um, I just feel like it's better for both, for really for me just to not, you know, have that video up anymore. I feel like it really represents me in not the best way possible, and I don't want people to think that. Um, that's the reason why I'm on YouTube. I mean, the real reason is because I want to help BGC grow, so I don't want that to negatively misrepresent me. Uh, like I said, I sent Rose to find an apology message on Skype, uh, mainly because I watched his recent video, uh, kind of his recent updates video, and it was really kind of melodramatic and even depressing, if you ask me, and so uh, I felt kind of bad. I know that this isn't really a case of him winning or me losing, it's just a case of uh, me not wanting to deal with any of this anymore, and I really wish him the best of luck in life, and I hope that, in life and YouTube, and uh, I just hope that we can go our separate ways now, and obviously, he has such a big uh, support 
group and fan base on YouTube. Uh, well, I'm still not a very big YouTuber, and that's not a really big deal. And I wish him and his fans the best of luck and everything. Uh, kind of apologize, I guess, for continuing adding to the drama. I just wanted to make something because I felt that my community was being misrepresented. Uh, but I did say some things in that video, probably, that didn't support my argument exactly because it was more of a rant than anything. Um, and, you know, if I had to make another video, I'd definitely make one with more, um, I guess, not factual, but just less, less kind of personal feelings and more just kind of clarifying misconceptions. But like I said, I'm kind of done with everything uh, in that kind of whole category. So once again, I wish Realistify the best of luck in life and I wish all his fans and everything uh, good luck and just wanted to let you guys know that I'm basically done with all this drama. Uh, I probably won't make the video public ever again. Uh, and um, I hope that we really can go our separate ways at this point. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I will be posting my VGC preparation, uh, regionals preparation video right after this. You can expect that. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.